All right, guys, you've been asking for the review on the Allet Sterling 51. We're finally going to do it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some of the options on here and uh, some of the comparisons that I like better on this machine than I do on the Liberty 43. And you guys know that I've had this thing for over two years now. So I know it pretty well. I've been around Allet for a long time. And uh, let's get into it. Okay, first off, the cut. This thing is 17 inches, which they do make a 17 inch sterling. I opted for the 20 inch. That way it saves me a little bit of time and I added on extra, another 2000 reel mowing onto my lawn. So I went bigger, but uh, they both have smooth rollers. Uh, what's uh, the benefit of the sterling comes with this little scrape bar here for worm castings, which on this machine I would get a lot of, especially when we're cutting low. Uh, you know, you get all the dirt marks on there, uh, the casting marks and uh, this scrapes it all off, keeps it smooth. Uh, then also underneath, I'm gonna tip these back, get these out of the way a little bit more. So both of them, they come with this rake. The Sterling has it as well as the Liberty that helps stand up the grass. That way we can get a true cut on the lawn, makes it look really nice. And then the, the difference with these machines is that this right here, is the bed knife. This is significantly thicker. It almost looks like it's double the size. So that way it can handle uh, stones and sticks a lot better. You know, and if you can see up close, if you want to take a quick look here on this blade right here, and then here is how thick this one is on the Sterling. So the blade's thicker, it's more durable than the Liberty 43. All right, so these have cartridge systems. Uh, that's what Allet is known for with their homeowner range. And with the Liberty, you know, this was an innovative machine, uh, you know, of its time. And it, it was a quick change right here. There is one, two, three, four bolts that need to be removed. And then after that, we have to remove this bar. And then after that, we got to take these two screws out and then we're able to pull out the cartridge. So now that takes a few minutes, but not really that big of a deal. But now over here, when with the new Sterling, their technology, we lift up these two. This handle comes out and we're free. So a big difference for me, why I wanted the Sterling is that it's the balance. So with the Liberty 43, everything is concentrated on this side. So as you can see, really easy here, even easier here. So the weight was concentrated over here. So when I would cut, I would get kind of an uneven cut because my lawn is not exactly perfectly flat. So with the Sterling though, they have this thing nice and centered. And on top of this, this thing's only 80 pounds. This thing is a lot heavier, so it's gonna stripe a lot better, but as you can see, everything is more centered with this unit. So now you know I love the Liberty 43. I have built the channel around it, and it, it stripes like no other, but uh, you know, the workability with it, the controls, were always kinda, I was kinda skeptical on it, but you know, it is what it is. So there is the speed right here, which is not a big deal but it is this. This always seemed a little flimsy, and then to get it going, we push this, and I don't know, you just want something more solid, and I don't know, they, they fixed that with the Sterling, because now they mixed with Ego, and we now have clicking, solid, stays in place, and then we have these trigger buttons here that make the machine move, each one works, and then to activate the roller, and it's on a, a separate uh, motor here. So you can now move without the reel going, and this is how we activate the reel. You push in the button, and now we're cruising, and then we can move without. So with this machine, once again, we start this up, and then we engage here, but now, you have to have the reel moving in order to move the machine. So with the Liberty 43, there was only two options for tall people and short people was these two bolts right here. And that was a big complaint 
uh, that people, this wasn't a, a big enough machine for them. And it's kind of like you gotta unbolt everything to move it to this hole and it only, you know, we shrink it down just a little bit. Whereas now the new Sterling, we have Ego technology here and we have these clips that can now adjust in, out. And then also we can get down real low right here and then we can go up as tall as this. And I mean, I don't know eh, who would mow like this. I feel like I'm driving a bus right now. But uh, when we go into storage mode like this, this now acts as a safety mechanism where we cannot engage anything. We cannot move the machine when the bars are all the way forward. So what I really loved about the Liberty 43 was the storage, especially during off season. This thing is light and I was able to put it on a shelf. Unlike some other real mowers, you know, you gotta store it uh, on the ground in a shed. So this is very simple. Leave this bar on, we bring this down, and then now our grass catcher goes right on top. And as for the Sterling, this thing packs up pretty easy. We take our little safety bars there, bring this down, go all the way up. We are now in kill mode. You obviously wouldn't store it with the battery. And what I personally like doing is taking this, setting it on top. And as you can see, a side profile, even though the Sterling is a 20 inch bigger machine, they're almost the same size when it comes to storage. So the height of cut adjustment is similar on both machines with the Liberty. It's from the back here and we turn and as we turn, our number starts to move there. Two is three fourths of an inch, three is an inch, but you know, a complaint was that they had it in millimeters and people wanted inches. But as we go, it clicks when it hits its number and that's how this one adjusts. But this one is a lot better with the Sterling. This right here, we obviously have millimeters and inches. You can clearly see what it is. And then now we just can adjust it right here. And we're gonna adjust it just below an inch. And that's what we're gonna have both machines set at. So a big reason why I bought this is first off, you know, I, I'm a family man and I love spending time in the lawn, but I wanna cut my time down and Having a bigger machine was one, it'll save me time, but also a faster machine. And with this Ego technology and the way they geared this thing, it is significantly faster than the Liberty 43. So what I'm doing here is I have my cameraman, which is my cousin Josh. He's gonna be doing the Liberty, I'm doing the Sterling, and I'm gonna count down three, two, one, and then we're gonna take off, and you're, you can clearly see how much faster the Sterling is than the Liberty. So this is a serious time saver. So our final comparison here is the noise level. You know, I like to cut early and the Liberty was extremely quiet compared to a normal gas mower. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one pass with the Liberty. Both are all, the blades are all cutting paper. So we're gonna do one pass with the Liberty and then right after I'm gonna do another pass with the Sterling so you can hear how quiet it is, if you can even hear it. So a big thing too is sex appeal. I mean, look at this thing. This thing looks like a freaking monster compared to our Liberty here. And these are both residential mowers. So I don't know, just the overall appearance, the design on this is, it's very attractive. Not, nothing against the Liberty. I love this machine, but now it's time. Let's see how well this thing can stripe because that's what you guys came here for.
Look at that cut. That is a pretty nice cut. This thing's really quiet. As you can see from the drone, we're looking pretty good. So hopefully you guys found this informative and kind of satisfying. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be using this thing all season. So I'll see you guys in the next one. So we're here, I got, let's do that again.